At all times, art has had an amazing impact. Symbolic images of various cultures have always been interesting to study and extensively used in modern art. Moreover, they have a much deeper foundation, the one we could hardly even imagine. When I came up with an idea of creating the picture, Abraham, the healing of the earth, I immediately thought of a triptych, and it became the starting point for my artistic search. I wanted to convey all my concerns through the stream of feelings and emotions. You can observe my search of geometric compositions. They appeared on paper easily and spontaneously. One by one, they suggested me different ways of self-expression. I chose one variant and decided to conduct a personal investigation of the relation between miscellaneous pieces of information I wanted to deliberately include into my future picture. Now, I want to share the information that was crucial in my decision-making and introduce you the idea of the picture, Abraham, the healing on the earth, submitting it as my master's product for the approval of the examination board. Space geometry in Ukrainian, Russian, Bulgarian, Slovak and Czech cultures is well organized. The crossing of lines forms a system of axes that reflects mathematical arrangement of natural science. Franciszy Kupka, one of the Slavonic founding fathers of modern art, when studying the Czech folk ornamentation and its repeated motives, came to understanding that art can possess spiritual and religious power. His works, Cathedral and Creation, are the sample of his philosophic and geometrical mentality in art. In my turn, I would like to add that geometry in composition, combined with a special semantic meaning, affects our subconsciousness. And this fact is directly connected with the image-bearing mechanisms of a human. This is why I find it extremely important to create the geometric composition, which will convey the ultimately precise information to its viewer, establishing immediate contact with their heart and soul. A probe says, Man lives by the earth, the earth takes prize in man. The most ancient and present form of human communication with environment was worshipping Earl and Sundry. In ancient Rus, they didn't need special temples for such worship. Rites were conducted in the open. When investigating the healing rituals in Slavonic culture, one pays immediate attention to the participation of fire water in them. Fire warms up, gives food and protects. Almost all the chemical reactions are connected with the appearance of fire. Pagan Slavs claimed fire to be related to the creation of humans. According to some myths, gods created a man and a woman from two sticks which set on fire, it being the first flame of love. Water is as strong and purifying as a fire, but it's different in nature. It consumes and takes away all the negativity. It has the power to remember everything it can through and thus can convey this information. People used to say, fire is a disaster, water is a disaster, but the worst disaster is the absence of both. This is why my second step in my composition is determined by my decision to represent the Earth as a central image of the triptych framed by fire and water on both sides. A historical document I came across by accident gave me a documentary evidence supporting my idea of the mythological Slavonic images I used in my composition. Now you can see a picture of a bracelet from Old Trezan of the 13th century depicting a griffon, Simargo and Periplut, where the griffon embodies the spirit of water, Simargo the spirit of fire, Periplut the spirit of the earth. Drawing a parallel between the symbols of gods and my compositional decisions, we can clearly observe the confluence of the images of fire, earth and water. But in my case, this overlapping is not just an expression of independent images, it is the unity of the elements of fire and water for a good cause of earth's healing. I presume you might have heard that the right of cleansing and blending some place is a life a certain ritual aimed at clearing any area from earth and old and filling it with its light of the cut skin and the corresponding power of king gods. In my work of art, I would like to show a new synthesis of rites where the participants are actually the same. I show the ritual of Blagosvata 
is the round dance of 12 young ladies and lads dancing around a bonfire. A round dance is the eternal second rotation of the sun. This is why the round dance is often performed around a bonfire, a tree or any other central element. Simultaneously, it is both as a symbol assimilation with a host of heaven which were considered godlike and also a magic act. During the dance, its participants dress in beautiful attire, sing ritual songs and play musical instruments. A Russian artist, Alexei Savrasov, represents the round dance as a circle that unites people and nature in the cycle of renewal. This circularity is detected in the Slavonic calendar, where the correlation of graphic lines describes the general system of Slavonic mindset. Number 12 in this calendar represents both 12 months and 12 days, where the later include the last six days of the departing year and the six first days of the upcoming year. This is the very numerical code I would like to intensify the right part of the picture with. The left part of the triptych depicts the tree of life. The quiet water of the river nourishes the tree roots. It is the borderline between the world of the living and the dead. In his creative work, Nikolai Rerich contemplates the Slavonic culture as a spring head for the revival of humanity. In such his works as the tree of life and idol, we can see images of the ancient world and its unity with earthly symbols of the universe. The image of the earth is the composition center of the triptych. We can see the streams of colorful energy filling the space around the earth. It becomes a chapel for its inhabitants. This is why I wanted to call this new rite of him Abraham. Investigating this word, I made certain that my choice of the title was correct. Abraham conveys a huge life force where the word Abrah from Turkish means chapel and Aim from Yiddish means people. Chinese men of wisdom say, symbols rule the world. I don't know if it is so, but I would really like to believe that they will become the souls of human souls renewal. My work, Abraham, the healing of the earth, is the symbol that expresses the world perception of natural laws and the return to the holiness.